Now we're going to talk about something a little special. This is a statue by Cappiello. Now we've already seen posters by Cappiello, the Chocolate Klaus at the museum, and the Goose poster behind me, um, and the Biscuit poster in my own apartment. Well, this is a statue. He made about five different statues in 1899 of various celebrities. So this is Yvette Gilbert, which in my opinion is the most important because she remains the most famous to, in poster history. You'll know Yvette Gilbert primarily from the work of Toulouse-Lautrec. So there's an album by Lautrec where you'll see a bunch of different characters and portraits of Yvette Gilbert. There's a poster by Steinlin of her. She appears in the Devant Japonais by Lautrec as well. And what her signature look is in all of these designs is her black gloves. Now, these gloves are no longer black. Originally, this would have been painted, but the paint comes off over time. Um, the, the trick is if you find one that is really, really, really painted, it's usually been redone. Um, so this one, you can't really see the black, except if I turn her around, you'll see a little bit underneath that's still there. Um, so her gloves would have been black, and that was her signature look um, when she was a cabaret star. Um, and you'll notice that the, these statues, uh, they, they take on the same elements of caricature that his posters took on, just in three-dimensional form, which I think is really interesting. So um, usually these pieces are really, really hard to find. Um, this one in particular is in the collection of the Musée d'Orsay in Paris. Um, so I was very excited when I found it a few years ago in France. Um, the other thing that's really interesting is if you look at the base here, you'll see Capiello's signature in the plaster, which I think is brilliant. Um, and yeah, so that's Yvette Gilbert and Capiello's statue of her, which sits in my bedroom. <laughs> Thanks.